I'm gonna start in Johto. Wait, you can battle your mom? Is this a joke? She probably just has a Mr. Mime, and we know what she does with the Mr. Mime. Alright, let's go. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Why do I have confusion? Okay, so don't battle your mom. Hey everyone and welcome back to Joey's Retro Handhelds. I'm Joey and today I want to do a fun video. I want to share my favorite Pokemon ROM hacks for the Mew Mini Plus. You want Pokemon games for your Mew Mini Plus and I have them here. So it's a good video for that. There's so many out there. I could do a top 50 video. You won't even agree with the top 10 I have today. But there's a lot of Pokemon ROM hacks, and it's not easy to narrow it down to 10, so use today as a starting point more than anything else. There's a lot of good ones that I'm not even going to be covering today, so just keep that in mind. I'll share which original Pokemon game it uses as a base, and as well how to get it and how to patch it. That'll all be in my description, not part of today's video, it's more of a showcase. I'll also point out if any of these games have retro achievement support, if that's something you're interested in. The first one we're going to talk about is Pokemon Light Platinum. And this ROM hack uses Pokemon Ruby and includes a whole new region called Zeri. There's new leaders, Elite Four, Rivals, Pokemon from Johto, Kanto, Hoenn, and Sinnoh, and a whole bunch more. There's a cool opening with Arceus being hugged by Giratina, Palkia, and Dialga. They're play fighting, don't worry. This is a really old ROM hack, but definitely still worth experiencing. The writing might not be the best, but you do get to meet Ash Ketchum in this. Next up is Pokemon Ultraviolet, and this ROM hack uses Pokemon Fire Red, and still uses the same design and story as the original, but with new changes. You can play through the entire game and catch all of the Pokemon from the first three generations. You can also skip choosing the three starters and catch your own in a Safari Zone-like area. I just like Squirtle, he's neat. As an added bonus, this game also has retro achievements. Let's talk about Pokemon Crystal Clear, and you saw the awesome opening fighting Gold's mom. This ROM hack uses Pokemon Crystal and is open world, meaning you can go anywhere and do the story however you want. You can choose your character from red, blue, green, yellow, gold, or silver, and choose from 24 different starter Pokemon. Just don't choose Magikarp as a starter. It only comes with Splash, and I learned that the hard way. Oops. There's 16 Gym Leaders and two sets of Elite Four, as well as up to 251 Pokemon to catch. This is an awesome ROM hack with tons of replayability, and as an added bonus, this game also has retro achievements. And now we have Pokemon Perfect Fire Red, and this ROM hack uses Pokemon Fire Red as a base, and it's meant to be an improvement over Fire Red, with the original story. All 251 Pokemon are available, nothing from Hoenn, and some changes to make gym leaders and your rival a bit stronger. Every Pokemon is available without trading, and even some smaller changes, like Mew being available. And now we have Pokemon Radical Red, and this ROM hack uses Pokemon Fire Red, and it's a difficulty hack, meaning it ramps it up to 11. All Pokemon up to Generation 8 are obtainable, and same with moves, mega evolutions, raid battles, reusable TMs, and so much more. Squirtle somehow has rapid spin at level 10, which is pretty funny. My team right now is Squirtle, Meditite, Mareep, and Spinarak before the first gym. As an added bonus, this game also has retro achievements. Up next is Pokemon Gaia, and this ROM hack uses Pokemon Fire Red, and adds new features like Mega Evolution, Pokemon from Gen 6, a new story, new region, and more. 
It takes place in the Orbtis region, and there's new moves, new abilities, updated sprites, and a whole bunch more. There's a lot. Starters for this one are Chimchar, Piplup, and Turtwig. And now we have Pokemon Prism, and this ROM hack uses Pokemon Crystal, and it's a whole new region called Naljo, with new mechanics. There's 253 Pokemon, you can customize your trainer, Larvitar is your starter, and you can also play as your Pokemon, which is weird. You can explore new regions and earn up to 20 different badges. As an added bonus, this game also has retro achievements. This next one is a big one, but it's Pokemon Glazed, and it uses Pokemon Emerald as a base game, and it's a massive ROM hack. You can choose from 5 different starters in Turtwig, Chimchar, Piplup, Shinx, and Riolu. You can travel across the regions of Tanod, Johto, and Rancor, and there's Pokemon from Sinnoh, Innova, and Kalos as well. You can rematch trainers and gym leaders and a whole bunch more. This game had retro achievements before for an older version, but it doesn't seem to work on the most recent one. And now one of my personal favorites, but we have Pokemon Fire Red Rocket Edition, or Team Rocket Edition sometimes. This ROM hack uses Pokemon Fire Red as a base, and in this game you play as a member of Team Rocket, and start off with a super strong Rattata. You can steal Pokemon from trainers and you follow the story as you would in the original Fire Red, meaning you get to actually battle Red. There's side quests and even a reputation system based on if you steal Pokemon from people, there's new mechanics, and it's just overall a fun game to play. This game had retro achievements before for an older version, but again, it doesn't seem to work for the most recent. And we have to end off this list on Pokemon Unbound, and this ROM hack uses Pokemon Fire Red as a base, but it's honestly probably the best Pokemon ROM hack currently out there. I didn't have this list in any order, but this is still number one. I finished this game a few months ago, and then I lost my save and I couldn't get it back to show you guys on screen. But this game has a custom battle engine, there's a lot of quality of life improvements, you can catch all Pokemon from Gen 1 to Gen 7. There's a whole new HM system, so you don't have to carry a slave Pokemon just to use HMs. There's updated graphics, difficulty modes, a mission system with quests, customizations, and so much more. Honestly, just play it. If you wanted one game out of this list to start with, this is the one. As an added bonus, it even has retro achievements. It's perfect. There's so many more Pokemon ROM hacks that I could talk about. There's Pokemon ROWE, Pokemon Crown, Pokemon Emerald Rogue, Pokemon Dark Rising, and a whole bunch more. I think there's one made every day. But I thought I'd just give you a quick list to start with, and then you can go and navigate around and find some others to play. Let me know in the comments, which ones are you playing right now? Is it any from my list from today? or are you playing something just completely off base? Please don't forget to like and sub to help the channel grow and hope you all have a good one.